This is the AQA practical on thermal insulation and this, in this particular experiment what we're going to be looking at is the rate of cooling of individual uh, beakers of water but what we're going to change is we're going to vary the amount of insulation, insulation material on each of them. So we're going to have one here with no insulation material and then these we're going to use the same insulation material which is just newspaper but what we're going to vary is the thickness of newspaper. Now in order for us to do that, we're not going to measure thickness, that would be quite difficult to do. We've pre-wrapped these and what we've done is we've wrapped this one with 10 uh, sheets of newspaper. So we've literally just done that and we've gone all the way around and counted one and then all the way around and counted two, etc. Okay, so that's got no insulation. This has got 10. This one's got 20 and this one's got 30. And quite simply, we're going to put some boiling water in them, we'll put the lids on them, and then we've got temperature sensors here. You can see these iPads have been set up with the temperature of the four beakers. So we'll put the temperature sensor through the hole in the top, and then we'll put this lid on. And the reason we're putting the lid on is we don't want to uh, have any, we want to remove as much as we can the heat loss from evaporation. So we are just measuring the heat loss through the material itself. So we'll put the lid on, put the temperature sensor in, all, all, of, all four of them will have a temperature sensor. We'll then just keep an eye on these and when the temperature sensors have gone up to the maximum value, which should take, I don't know, a few seconds hopefully, at that point we'll start our stopwatch and then we will be taking readings of temperature every minute and at the end uh, we'll do a, a graph and we'll process this in, in uh, hopefully to produce a cooling curve. Now we do need to think about safety. What wouldn't be very good if we were walking around uh, with these. These will get really hot really quickly because they're metal so it's always important we need to make sure we bring the kettle to these to fill them up while they're in position. Okay so I think that's covered everything so if you just bear with us we'll uh, fill the water up and then we'll start. And we have put the same amount of water in each of the beakers. So they're filled right up to the top. So we are controlling the amount of water. Okay, they all look as though they've gone up. Just give that one a couple of seconds to about 88, 89. So what we'll now do, we'll start this running. Okay, so here's our data from our cooling experiment. You'll see that this time we've recorded the, te the temperature every two minutes. So we go two, four, six, eight, etc. minutes. We've got one with no insulation, one with 10 layers of newspaper, one with 20 and one with 30. And uh, with no insulation, it cooled down. Um, this is the red line on this graph. And it cooled down by 22.2 degrees Celsius in 16 minutes. Okay, you'll notice it's good that we've got this level of precision uh, we'd probably struggle to tell the difference with a, a glass thermometer because the difference between no insulation and 10 layers of insulation is only, only 1.5 degrees Celsius in terms of the difference. They're almost exactly the same temperature at the end. But we can just about tell that 10 layers is, um, does have an insulating effect compared with having no insulation. Okay, when we get to our 20 layers one, which is our blue line, we'll see that the results uh, go anomalous because the great joy of data logging is you can go off and have your lunch while it's working but the sad part is that sometimes they stop so our data logger here has stopped registering after six minutes and the effect of that has just been for the line to appear to be flat although of course the water was cooling down really the data logger wasn't registering it. With 30 layers of insulation our, ye our yellow line on the graph you'll see that does make quite a significant difference again about three degrees C better than with um, 10 layers of insulation but we're still probably quite glad that we've got that decimal place there so we're measuring to the nearest tenth of a degree C not the nearest whole number of degrees okay so but it's clearly the 30 layer of insulation one has worked quite well again notice these are curves the biggest rate of temperature fall is at the start because the difference between the temperature of the can and room temperature is the highest at this point. So the bigger the temperature difference to room temperature, the faster the rate of cooling will be.